uh, touch briefly on, on two aspects of, of politics and policy because I think there's there's a lot of engagement um, uh, around how women can be more involved. But I first want to ask, you know, the, no, ma no matter what side of the aisle you are on, you know, I think we, we would all agree we are living in a very polarized environment um, and one where there is a lot of noise and some frustration uh, that, that there isn't the, the same d desire to partner and build bridges um, and, and negotiate for the future. Again, having worked across so many administrations, this is not necessarily a new dynamic. How do we begin to build those bridges and be able to move forward at the pace we need around some of the initiatives that you talked about? Well, number one, I try always to work on a bipartisan basis. But I think history is very, very helpful. Our, we are a robust, dynamic, young country, and we are democracy. So these members of Congress are not arguing for argument's sake. They give voice to people they represent. And we have a very cacophonous, diverse country. And the East and the West Coast are different. And Middle America is different from the East and the West Coast. And what we're seeing is this cacophony of voices that make up democracy. History is important, as I said, because if you look at our history, and read our founding fathers' um, activities and their writings, they were tough on each other. One accused the other of having illegitimate child. Another one almost, um, another one challenged one to a duel almost, and killed him. Uh, and there are, if you go in the Senate floor, you will see the Senate desk, one in particular in which there is a sword mark where somebody rushed on the Senate floor in the 1800s, took a sword, and stuck it. Fortunately, not at a person, but at a desk. So these are mild times by comparison, right? I mean, <laughs> so we have now 24-7 media, and we now see so much more. But our country has always been ruckus and confrontational and loud. And this is how we resolve issues and build consensus. And I'm, you know, I'm always committed to working on a bipartisan basis, but this is the way in which this robust democracy works. 